In this tutorial, we're going to look at creating a level changer. So on a particular collision or an event occurring, we'll be able to switch from one scene to another scene. So to do this, we need to write some scripts and set up our environment. So let's get underway and start with a brand new project. So first of all, we're going to create a new project called Scene Changer. And once we've started, we're going to right mouse click and put a 3D object on the stage. This is going to be a cube. If you need to, go up Window and go down to Layouts and Revert to Factory Settings. And go Continue. This will make sure that we're all working from the same palette. Click, click on your hierarchy. Select the cube. We're going to rename this as floor. So you can either change it here or you can change it up the top here. You'll see that that's now called floor. And I'm going to give it the properties of 21 and 20. One of the first things we're going to do is create some materials. So we're going to come down, right mouse click in assets and go create folder. And we're going to make a folder called materials. And we're just going to create a couple of simple materials inside this folder. So we're going to right mouse click and go create material. And the first one is going to be called floor. So this is going to color the floor. So I'm just selecting that. I'm coming up to the color selector. I'm going to make it green, but it's going to be a fairly light sort of green. I'm just going to drag and drop that on the floor. While I'm here, I'm going to create two more. So I want to create another material, which is just going to be something like a blue. So we'll give a name blue. And we'll select blue, go up and select a blue color. And also I'm going to create another one called red. So create material red. And the same thing, just select the red color. Once I've got my floor, I need to add like a doorway. So I'm just going to go create a 3D object. Once again, it's going to be a cube. It could be anything. I'm just going to move it up. And then I'm going to make it look like a door by just making it wider, making it taller. You can see it's stretching sort of below the floor. So I'm going to go to movement again move it back on the X plane and move it up again. I'm also going to apply the blue color to the material to that. Then what I'd like to do is change cube. I'm just going to call this door. Now what I'd like to do is add the first person controller to this project. So I'm going to go into assets, import package, characters, and then I'm just going to import everything. Now once the FPS controller is imported, we're just going to select the assets. We're going to go into characters, we're going to go into first person characters in the prefabs and we're going to drag up the FPS controller and just drop it underneath the directional light. So the FPS controller is at the top of our scene. I'm also going to move that up. You can see the character has a camera on it so we actually don't need this camera over here. So I'm going to select the main camera, right mouse click and delete that. Select the FPS controller. I can also rotate this. If I click on game, you can see that we're not looking at the wall. Then I'm going to select FPS controller. And then I'm going to grab this here and move it around. And then I'm just going to go back into game just to see if I can see the wall. I can see the wall in front of me now and that's good enough. If I wanted to, I could turn directly around so I'm facing the wall and move myself back so I can see more of the wall. And when I hit game, you can actually see the wall now. So let's go with that at the moment. So what I've done is created a material and just skin the floor and the wall. I've added a FPS controller, first person shooter controller, so I can move around. And that comes from the standard assets. So I'm just going to run the game now. You can see that I'm looking at the wall and I can run into that at the moment. So what I'd like to do is put a collision on the wall and a script on the wall. So if I do run into it, I want to change from scene one into scene two. So let's set that up now. So I'm just pushing escape and stopping the play. We haven't got a script yet and we also haven't saved our scene. So I'm going up to file and I'm just going to go save scene as. So I'm going to call this level 01 and click on save. Now you notice that we've got the scene here. So I'm going to create a right mouse click create a folder and I'm going to call this scenes and I'm just going to put level one in there. Now I'm going to go into our prefabs, into our materials, and I'm just going to skin the door red. This time I'm going to file and I'm going to go save as, and this time rather than level one, I'm going to call this one level 02 and click on save. So once again in our assets, we've got level 02, drop that into my scenes. So inside of scenes now, I've got level 01 and level 02. 
So now I'll be able to call those. We also need to add our levels to the build. So we go into build settings. First of all, I'll go back to my um, scene one. So I'll go into scenes, go back to scene one. I'm gonna go file, build settings, and I'm just gonna go add open scene and close that. Then I'm gonna open level two, go file, build settings, and add that. So now both things are in our build settings. So now it knows it exists. So now we'll be able to, from level one, move to level two with a bit of code. So I wanna apply the code to the door. So if the FPS controller runs into the door, the door's listening for that collision. And if, it, if the FPS is the object that collides with it, we wanna to go to level two. So we want it to open this one here. So let's go out and we're gonna create a folder called scripts. And inside scripts, we're gonna create a script called blue door. So we know it's for the blue door. Now this blue door script is gonna be associated with this object here, so I'm just selecting the door. I'm gonna drag that across and drop it off here so you can see it's associated. And then I'm gonna double click it to open it up in Mono Developer or whatever editing software that you're using. Once we're in here, we need to actually add a new line, so we're going to be using, we're still going to be using the Unity engine, but in particular, we're going to be using the scene manager or the scene management. So we want to add that to the list of imports at the top. Now, once we've done that, we want to create a new function, which is going to be listening for that collision. So we're going to create a void, and then we're going to use an on collision, enter, and we're looking for a collision. So we're listening for that collision, and if we do have an, a collision with something, we want to store the information of the game object. So we want the game object information. So this is a variable that we're creating. And then once we've done that, we want to open and close the braces. So if we do have a collision, store the information of that collision in the game object information variable. From here, what we wanna do is check to see what we've run into. So we're gonna use an if statement. And we're gonna say, well, if the game object information, and we're looking for the game object, and we're looking for its name. And if that's equal to the FPS controller, I'm just gonna paste that in there. So if the collision occurs with the FPS controller, I'll want it to do something. So I'm just gonna put a open brace and a closed brace down here. As you can see, it's adjusted my braces. And what I wanna do is do a debug.log. This will write in the console window. What I mean by the console window is console's here and I'll send a message into this little area here. And what I want it to tell me is the collision detected. So we know that we're inside the if statement. Now once we've got that collect or that collision, we then want to look at the scene manager. And what we want to do with the scene manager is load scene. And then we can actually call the scene that we want to load. So in this case here, we want to go to level 02. So if we're on level one, which is the blue door, if we run into the blue door with the FPS controller, so the blue door is listening for it, if that collision is with the FPS controller, it's gonna write in our debug window and also then load the scene level 02. I'm just gonna put a semicolon on the end of that. Now I'm gonna save this and head back to our main stage and run our program. So when I run into the door, Just before we do that, we also must make sure that the rigid body occurs on the door. If we don't have a rigid body on the door, so just type in RIG, you'll get rigid body. This gives the door mass, and then it will pick up the collision with the FPS controller. The FPS controller also has a rigid body. So when those two collide, the game is then able to hear it. And now we've moved to level two. Now when I run into this door, nothing will happen because there's no code on there. Also, we need to apply the rigid body.
You can see in our console window down the bottom, the collision has been detected. Just make sure your FPS controller is above the ground. The gravity will make it fall and hit the ground, but the bottom of it needs to be there to pick up the collision when you run in. So let's head to scene two now. We'll save scene one. On scene two, once again, we'll add the rigid body. And now what we want to do is create a script for that. So we're going to come in here, right mouse click, create, once again, a C-sharp script. This is going to be red door. And then I'm going to open that. Now, if you've got your editing window open, most programs you can see both. We need, once again, this line of code here. So I'm just going to copy it from blue door across to red door. And then I'm going to copy this whole procedure from this program into this program. The only other thing I would like to change is if we're running into the red door, we want to go back to level one. So I need to change two back to one and just save that. Now select the red door, associate red door script with this program. And now that script's associated with the red door. So when I'm running to the red door, which is on level two, it should take me back to level one. And then when I run into the blue door on level one, it will take me back to level two. So let's just run this program now. Oh, we're starting with the red door. Same thing should occur. We should be able to run into this. And then when we run into the blue door, we're back at the red door. So that allows us to change from one scene to another scene by using a collision. And you can use other events as well to listen for that scene change. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Also have a look around my YouTube channel for other useful Unity tutorials. And I wish you the best in creating interesting and creative games.